to next generation. In our new setup, you like it? Probably wondering, <laughs> what is this? You ready for the grand reveal? Well, if you're not following on Instagram, you probably have no idea what this is. Go ahead and click that follow button on Instagram and catch up, hurry up. All right, caught up? Ta-da! Whoa, what do you think? Do you love it, wires and all? It's almost done. So he's just gonna stand in front of the wire for this video so you don't see it. Uh -huh. So this is our new setup. Hope you guys like it. I love it. So if you aren't following us on Instagram, but I'm sure you are, so you're caught up that we got a new fence. We because did. our other one blew over in a hurricane. And so since we moved the gate, we're now walking in grass. And now we've got this muddy pit to walk in when it rains. Which is all the time. So we came up with a solution. We're gonna build a pathway, and not just any pathway, guys, a draining oh, pathway. That's key here. Step one, we're gonna lay out the pathway, kind of get a visual on what we're working with, the space that we want. And what he means by lay out the pathway is we're gonna cut out cardboard squares, the size of the pavers that we think we want, mm -hmm. just to see how it looks in the space before we buy them and bring them home and then hate them. And we're going to play around with the spacing and all that good stuff. And in order to calculate the amount of material that we need, we need to map out the perimeters. And just so you guys have a reference, we're doing 21 feet long by three and a half feet wide. Yep. And how deep. And then we went five inches deep and we'll explain why in just a minute. To calculate all of our material, we used an online aggregate calculator. It worked great, it was accurate. And we're gonna link all the supplies, the type of sand, limestone that we use, just so you know all the details. So now we're gonna go over all the materials that you'll need for your pathway. Keep in mind that this is gonna vary by size. Most important item in this whole DIY is a shovel. Can't do this without a shovel. What? And that doesn't change with the size. You need the shovel no matter what, okay? All right, so for the tools, it's very simple. You need a shovel. I found that the flat shovel worked best for me. You'll also need a tamper. Yep. This will make life, not this even make life easier, you need it. So you also need a rake, a metal rake, and not like the ones where you rake your leaves. I'm talking about just. Here's a picture. Yeah. That. We need that break. So this tool will make your life easier. It's definitely optional. It was mandatory, in my opinion. We rented a sod cutter. We had 21 feet long, five inches down. That would have taken us like three days. Yeah, let me just tell you. If you didn't see the the pathway, the jet ski pathway video, go check that out. We hand dug that one, <laughs> yeah. and it was only 14 feet, and that sucked. It took us all day just to dig. We dug in like two hours. With, Less with than the an earth. hour and a half. You will also need a landscape fabric or weed barrier so that your grass or weeds don't pop up through your pathway. And then we also got a metal edging. If you're doing this kind of right in the middle of your yard, I do recommend surrounding the perimeter with edging. Our perimeter is surrounded on three sides with concrete. So we only needed edge on one side where the lawn was touching. All right, so moving on to our aggregate. Exciting. <laughs> we got two different types of limestone, sand, and then we got eight 24 inch pavers. Mm -hmm. We do recommend going to a bulk local supplier. Mm -hmm. You can just Google one. Getting it at Lowe's is like three, four times more expensive yeah. and it's just so much easier to go to a bulk place because they load it up in the back of your truck for you or your trailer, whatever you have. Because you can just scoop it right off your truck into the spot. Yeah, you don't have 50 bags of sand where you're wasting the plastic and they just dump it in the bed of your truck. Yep. You scoop it out the bed of your truck and you're done. It's awesome. All right, so we marked our perimeter with rope. And the reason we did this is because the driveway isn't technically, it's not perfectly straight, okay? but. I want the other side to be perfectly straight. So what I did was I measured the top of the driveway and I measured the bottom of the driveway, same distance, and I ran a string parallel with the driveway. I can see it visually on where I'm gonna be cutting before I start cutting this line and I can't go back and put soil back, right? So just a tip there, you don't have to do it, Highly recommended though. So now for our sod cutter that we rented. So exciting, watch it do all the work for us. You're gonna be sold, I promise. Yep, sold like I wasn't <laughs> until we started using it. This sod cutter cuts two and a half inches deep. That's the max. So we went over the entire pathway once and cut all the sod off. If you remember, we want five inches total. So once we removed all the sod, which is so easy to do, you yes. can literally roll it and then just put it into bags. It's amazing. But then this is where the risk came in because we weren't sure how the sod cutter would cut dirt, but here we go. So we're gonna do another pass with the sod cutter for our other two and a half inches. 
pieces. And guess what, guys? It worked. The dirt rolls up surprisingly, it's crazy. And not only that, but we did end up using the shovel just to lightly loosen and mm -hmm. scoop out the dirt that was cut. We didn't have to put any force or digging efforts or anything into it, but also the sod cutter cuts it perfectly straight. Perfectly low. So once you have your space all cut out, then it's all gonna be perfectly flat. You don't have to worry about going in and tampering or getting it perfectly straight. Whereas if you use a shovel, especially a pointed shovel, you're gonna have like little holes and uneven, unlevel Makes it difficult. space to start with. All right, so we've got the dirt removed. We are just ready to get started here. And you know what we're gonna do? First, we're gonna lay out some landscape fabric. Yeah, because we didn't remove this grass for no reason. That's right, we didn't. We wanted a total of five inches. <laughs> and the reason is, is we want a two inch gravel base for drainage. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our two inches of limestone. This is gonna act as our base. It's also gonna help with the water drainage. And it's really just a key element in this whole process. You need a lot more drainage. You can always go deeper yep. with your hole. All right, so we've got our gravel in the space. We're gonna go ahead, spread it around. We wanna make sure that this is all level and we have a nice gradient so that the water will drain away from the house which there's already a natural gradient yes. with our driveway. We're just gonna follow that grade. We're gonna keep the rocks at two inches all the way along. So now that we have all the gravel laid out, we're gonna spray it with a hose. We're gonna have some fun and we're gonna tamp away until it's all nice and compact. Yeah, so guess what? Jen's little brother came over. He's like, what are y'all doing? Mm, tamping. Mm, looks like fun. He's done, two seconds later. And you'll notice the difference between the area that we haven't tamped compared to the area that was, yes. because at first I was like, why even do this stuff? It seems pointless. There's a big difference, especially when you're walking on it. That's what Yeah, when you're first. walking on it, our feet literally just sunk through the limestone, yep. whereas when you tamp it, it's a flat surface. Your feet yes. don't go through, none of the rocks really move around. You don't want to skip this step. You really don't. And here's why. Because if you don't tamp it, it's going to naturally settle. And as it settles, you can't control whether or not it's setting level or not. And so you may end up in a couple of weeks from now with unlevel pavers. And you're gonna be looking back and being like, mm, I should have had all that fun with tamping, like he said. If you learn anything from this video, it's do it right, right the first, first time. time. <laughs> Next step, we're gonna add our edging. Because the edging is three inches, we just put it on top of the gravel because mm -hmm. we have three inches left. Stake it, get it all nice and secure so that we have our wall yep. ready to add everything else into our little, <laughs> what is it called? Clearly it was a litter box for a little while. Our cat. He did that. He did that. All right, so our edging is in place. I feel confident with adding the sand. It's not gonna go all over the place. We're gonna add all the sand. We're gonna level it out. We're gonna wet it and then we're gonna tamp it again. Hey, first. It's the most exciting part of the whole damn thing. It's kind of like playing in a zen garden if you ever did it that really when you're doing the sand. Jen liked it so much, she wouldn't even let me do it. I'm like, <laughs> have at it. Jasper, you gonna come step in it? No! <laughs> he stepped in it. Really? Look at this. So now we have in the forecast that it's gonna rain, so. What are you, a weather woman now? Meteorologist Jen here with the weather coming at you. So we're just gonna leave the sand for a few days and let it get nice and <laughs> compact with our rain. If it's not gonna rain, move on to your next step. If it's gonna rain, just let the rain do more of the work. No kidding. <laughs> let it level it out some more. So now that the rain is gone, the sun is shining, we can go and add our pavers the most exciting and most anticipated part. And it didn't look like a pathway until we put these pavers here. The neighbors have been wondering what we're doing here. We're making a sand pit for our cat, apparently. <laughs> and the way we did this is we went six inches between each paver, so we, as in Rich, <laughs> laid each paver and measured out six inches between each one. We went ahead and ran our handy dandy rope again. Oh yeah. To get a nice straight line that was straight with our metal edging and just move them a little bit straight level into place. And to kind of get an idea if your paver is level with your driveway or the grass, we laid a two by four across the pavers. You can see the space either if the paver's sitting up too high compared to the driveway or too low and you can decide 
if you want to pull them all off and put some more sand or just yeah. deal with it. Now's the time to do that because once you add that finisher rock, there's no going back. And you don't want to regret it. They look so good. I love they them. Do. And now I have somewhere to step. I know. And there's only one step left. The finisher rock. So we went with limestone. Um, we chose a smaller grade of limestone than we did for the drainage. So you might see a difference there, but the larger grate was cheaper, so we just stuck that at the bottom where you wouldn't see it for the drainage. And we went with the nicer limestone for the top to finish everything off. So if you're unfortunate like me, and the tamper doesn't fit between the pavers and the concrete, we had a four by four laying around, and I used that. Don't really have a recommendation for you, but <laughs> the four by four- A is what smaller works. tamper. Yeah, I think they do sell, I do have a recommendation for you. What am I talking about? They sell smaller tampers. <laughs> Then she come up with good ideas. Are you ready to see it? Let's show them, because I'm ready. Ooh. Okay, well guess what? I'm very excited because I don't have to wipe the mud <laughs> off of my shoes anymore because we got these beautiful pavers here. We I think love it, looks it. Great. the cat loves it, the whole family loves it. You know, I don't know. The cat loves the warm pavers in the sun, but I think he's a little bit upset that we took away his... 20 foot litter box. Yeah, yeah. Follow us on Instagram so you can keep up with all this because if you're on Instagram, you saw the pathway already. We already showed you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.